Hey everybody, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com and today I'm going to show you how to create custom guide geometry. Now let me show you exactly what I mean. So I have a special layer here called guides that I created and you can see in each of these handle components I have these little red squares and what they're there for is to make the process of placing these poles much easier. So let me just show you what I would typically do if I didn't have the geometry um, to guide me is I would take this pole and because I know I have a certain offset from the door I would come and reference the the corner here of the door I would start there and then I would say okay I know I need to be two inches off of the door to the left so I would select the pull I would lock into the red axis with my arrow key using the right arrow key I'd pull over and click and then type in you know two inches or inch and a half whatever I said and then I would go down whatever height I needed to be at which I think in this case was three inches and I would go through and do that to all the different pulls um, for each cabinet uh, if I was if I was creating custom cabinets if you have a library of cabinets to use that's a different story and you don't have to go through this every time but so the idea is you create these guides and you place them inside of a component um, that way you can move the guides and the component at the same time and then now instead of having to go through that that multiple step process of to align to locate the component at the corner of a door and then move it two times you just grab this little corner here and you lock into a reference point and you're done so let me show you how easy it is to use these uh, the guide geometry to add pulls to this cabinet so I'll just use the move tool and tap control to create a copy and then I'll do the same thing tap control I'll rotate this around and then it's hard to see but I actually have a line going across this component here and what that'll allow me to do is reference the midpoint of that line and then I can just come up here and snap to the midpoint of the drawer face and then I'll do that again move tool tap control to make a copy I'll reference the midpoint come over here and snap to the midpoint now let me just show you how it's organized real quick I'll grab the outliner uh, window. You can access this from the window uh, menu and check the outliner. And you can see here we have the main cabinet and inside the cabinet, this is a much very simplified version of a of a real cabinet model that I'd make. And you can see the four handles here and then you know I'm representing the cabinet body and with that group. So inside one of the handles I'll just zoom in here. I'll expand that. And you can see we have two groups. So we have the guide geometry. And you'll notice that if I pull the entity info window, that is on the guides layer. So if I turn this layer on and off, you can see that it disappears. And then I also have, let me turn that back on so you can see it. I also have the, so there's the guide geometry and then the handle geometry. So by taking those two groups and putting them in the handle component, it allows you to move them around as an assembly and take advantage of referencing those points to help with uh, placing the object. Now if you'd like to view the full tutorial, you can go to mastersketchup.com forward slash custom guides. And I also have a ton of other cool tutorials on there on SketchUp, so definitely check it out.